The Kentucky women's basketball program is one win away from its 700th in program history. Welcome into the show. I'm Christy Thomas alongside Coach Mitchell. Coach, you opened up SEC play with a win on the road at Alabama. Then you came back to Memorial Coliseum, dropped a tough one at home to Florida. We did. We had a good Thursday game against Alabama, and we're always happy to get a road win in the SEC. It's always tough to win on the road. And then uh, you know, an uncharacteristic loss for us in Memorial Coliseum just got out hustled by Florida, so you have to give them all the credit for wanting the game more than we wanted it. It was a good crowd. You had a bit, as usual, you have a great mm -hmm. crowd at Memorial Coliseum. Just didn't shoot the ball very well. Had a great crowd, over 7,000 people, and you know, uh, every school in the country would love to have our fans. We have great fans, and we appreciate them. Wish we could have won the game. So, Denisha Stallworth was back in the mm -hmm. lineup um, after missing about five games. She looked good. She did. She had seven minutes, and I'm glad we could get her some game minutes. She's looked really good in practice since then, so we're excited about her progress. Where does your focus go now in practice coming off of a loss as you have a really tough one against South Carolina? Well, I just have to stay the course, keep working each game, try to uh, win every game you can and, and put all your preparation into it. So uh, we'll work hard to see if we can get a win at South Carolina. That final was 83-73. Jen O'Neill leading away with 15 points. Samari Walker a double-double with 10 points and 12 rebounds. Well, she's been in all 15 games for the Cats, and she's playing an increasing role for Kentucky's front court. And this week, she's on Coach Mitchell's 30-second shot clock. Second shot clock this week. Welcome in, everybody. I am so pleased to be joined by junior front court player from Queens Village, New York, Jalea Sidney. How you doing, Jalea? I'm doing good. How are you? Jalea, what's the difference between Queens and Queens Village, New York? Um, Queens Village is the city I stay in. Um, Queens is just the borough. Oh, I got you. So they're not the same thing? No. I see. You learn something all every day. And you had two sisters play college basketball. Yes. And your mom played college basketball. No, she didn't. And not. your dad played oh, college no, basketball. No. They, they no. didn't? Mm -mm. No sports. <laughs> but I tell you what, your mom and dad, they're sharp folks. Oh, yeah. I love your mom and dad. That was one of the best home visits ever had coming to your house. We had a good time. Yeah. yeah sure. Well, you have made a lot of progress since you've been here at Kentucky. Uh, you've made progress athletically, academically. How have you done it? Um, just working hard, um, long hours, watching film, and um, academically leaving Cats late and really. I heard in CATS that you may be the hardest working person in CATS. Tell me, what's the longest study session you've ever had? Um, well, I'm get done with my class at 6.30 and right. I'm in there till like 1 in the morning. 1 in the morning? You are in the academic center till 1 in the morning. Yes. Getting it done. Yes. Working at it hard. And then before every game, you're in here getting shots up, getting prepared. Yes. You like to prepare, don't you? Yes. Well, that's why you're being, that's why you're being successful. And so what are you doing fun in your life? Just being successful. Just being successful. I love, oh, I love that. That's, that's, that's all fun right there, right? Yes. Well, we're so proud of Jalea. She's doing such a great job growing each and every day, getting better each and every day at Kentucky. That's Jalea Sydney. I'm Coach Mitchell, and this is a 30-second shot clock. Coach, Jalea has given you a lot of energy coming off the bench. I tell you, I'm so excited about Jalea Sidney and the progress she's made since she's been here at Kentucky. She's really worked hard to become a better player. She's an incredible student, great community uh, service person. So we're real proud of Jalea Sidney. Proud that Jalea Sidney is a Wildcat, no doubt about that. Well, coming up, Coach it gives young Niche a geography lesson in the Guitar Tip of the Week. You won't want to miss that. Stay with us. The Matthew Mitchell Show is brought to you by Paul Miller Ford, by Window World, by McDonald's, by Kennedy's Wildcat Den, by Central Bank, by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, by P-Rats, by Safe Light Auto Glass, by UK Healthcare, and by Commonwealth Credit Union. Open, eh? Whoa! Well, come in, everybody. It's another edition of the Guitar Tip of the Week. It's cold outside, everybody. But inside, it's we're heating it up on the Guitar Tip. I'm joined by, I'm Coach Mitchell, by the way. I'm joined by the amazing, the astounding, the astute, the astonishing shooting guard from our nation's capital, Bernice Pinkett. Young niece, how are you? I'm good, Coach. It's time for Ask Young Niece, the game show that's sweeping the country. Niece. Young niece, the question is, being from D.C., your favorite branch of government is? Yes. Exactly. On to the shout-outs. That took me by surprise. 
to Connie Hawk from Parts Unknown, who says Young Nish and Jenna definitely have their hands full on the MM show. Let me see your hands. There's nothing in your hands. Your hands aren't full. Coach, I'm pretty sure she's talking about how crazy you are. Well, then that's, then that, then that's ugly. Then she wrote in, that was ugly to say about me. I'm not crazy on the show. What gives you the idea that I'm crazy on this show? To Robin Roy Richards from Alabama, who loves the Matthew Mitchell show. How about that? She loves the cooking segment, and she loves the young one and the guitar tip of the week. Now, see, I think that from, what's her name? Robin Roy, Ro Roy, Robin Roy Richards. I think that's more of a compliment from Connie Holt. No wonder Connie Holt didn't want to tell us where she's from. <laughs> to Marsha and Dennis Dobler in Hickson, Tennessee, who asked, Young Niche, which of the four Big Blue Madness dances did you enjoy the most? We had the Dougie. Tease me out of Dougie. Tease me, tease me out of Dougie. We had Michael Jackson, MC Hammer, and we had the Godfather. So which of the four did you enjoy? The Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson. Energy. Oh, that was a good one. Can you believe that? Oh, that was a great one. Take it away, young niece. To me, Mal Strauss and Lexington, to Aunt Bridget and Uncle Joe in Hazard, Kentucky. Hazard is the heart of big blue country. Oh, how do you know Hazard? I mean, nothing against Hazard, but how do you know Hazard is the heart of big? What about Wayne County or what, well, about, what about Bell County or what about Rowan County or Fleming County? At Fleming County is where Morgan Jett's from. That's some of my favorite counties. How do you know one of those places aren't the heart of Big Blue Country? Because it says that Hazard is the heart on the script. Okay, well, I guess the script rules. Go ahead, big, big, uh, Young Nation. To the Wootens, John, Laura, Jonna, and Tara, and Berea. How do you know it's not Tara or Jonah? I don't. Okay, continue. To Addie Bolin in Somerset, Kentucky. And to everybody's favorite uncle, Bobby and Aunt Kay in Gallington, Tennessee. You know, I'm going to miss next year when I have, don't have somebody here going, I don't know, <laughs> sitting by me. And the t-shirt goes to Addie Bowling in Somerset, Kentucky, who says her New Year's resolution was to secure a guitar tip of the week t-shirt. Well, you got it. You can shut it down for the rest of 14, Addie Bowling. You see that Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. Write into us, and we'll see you next time here on the Guitar Tip of the Week. There are a lot of people behind the scenes that make the UK Hoops program successful. Coming up, Coach introduces you to the important person keeping everyone in the know about the Cats. The Big Blue Tent Corner, brought to you by McGee's Bakery, in downtown Lexington since 1956. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Big Blue Cat Corner. And this week, I'm in the media relations suite here at Kentucky joined by Media Relations Director for Women's Basketball, Susan Lax. What a big operation we got going here, Susan. It is a big operation. We have 22 sports, and it's the most in the SEC, so we have to have a lot of people. And uh, so we have a, a really great staff, and we're all located up here in the Joe Craft Center. People are interested in the Wildcats, I guess. Uh, yes, they are. We have a lot of followers on the Internet and the media, and, and so a lot of interest in what we're doing. How does women's basketball fit into the media piece here at Kentucky? Well, being a top 10 team, we have a lot of media coverage. Um, so at any given game, we could have up to 30 media people. Um, sometimes, obviously, for a big game, um, like at Rupp Arena, we probably had 80 to 100 people. Um, so we have a lot of uh, interest in what we do. We try to do a press conference a couple times a week mm -hmm. with you, as you know, and try to give the media uh, everything they need to help cover our team. I feel like I'm a big hit at those media conferences. Well, you, you, defi think? you definitely are. And we also go live on the World Wide Web and re reach a lot of people. So the Internet piece is big? The Internet piece is huge. Um, obviously, with Twitter, you have the most followers uh, among all the coaches in the country. Women's basketball here at Kentucky is number two in the country in Twitter followers. So we try to get a lot of information out on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. So social media is a big piece to what we do. So what do you do to try to help the players uh, function well in the media realm? Well, our role is to help the players present themselves in the best way possible to the media mm -hmm. and to the public. We want them to have a brand. So we teach them how to have a message. We just don't put them in front of the cameras without having some sort of a message. So we try to teach them in the summertime, bring in professionals, and we do training and teach them how, no matter what the question, you have a message of what you want to say, you control the interview. So that's what we try to help them. So it also helps with in class and interviews mm -hmm. and later on in life. Well, there's a lot of media coverage here at Kentucky. Our media relations department is doing a great job. Susan, thanks for being on the Big Blue Cat Thanks, Corner. Coach. And so what you yeah. need to do is help. You need to look at your help, all right? And I'm talking to you guys. That's who I'm talking about. 
Coach and Jenna are fixing up a healthy snack for all you junk food junkies. The Coach's Kitchen is next. UK Athletics is still making great strides in building a successful comprehensive athletic program. This could not have been achieved without support of the fans, donors, and sponsors. UK Athletics and UK IMG Sports Marketing wish to extend this special thank you to our following official corporate partners. McDonald's, Central Bank, Coca-Cola, Gatorade, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kroger, Nike, and Papa John's. Welcome in, everybody. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen. We're so glad you joined us. I am Hall of Fame chef, Coach Matthew Mitchell, joined by my beautiful wife with stunning, stunning beauty. How do you, uh, Jenna, it's my wife, Jenna, how do you get your skin to look so radiant? You're so sweet. I, I just wash. And what, are the, what are the, just wash? That's all you do? And, uh, like with just some like with some soapy water? Or? No. Uh, some... Do you ever put any of these these uh, these masks on that get real brittle and hard and you rip them off and then it's supposed to get all the blackheads out of your nose or anything like that? Oh my like gosh. That? Not, not for a while. You don't do that? No. Well, let me tell you something, <laughs> sister. Whatever you're doing is working because you are the most beautiful television chef on this planet. That Your is, thoughts on that? That is awfully kind. I don't now, know. Now, if we can just work on your sweetness level a little bit to the old hubby, then we'll be really hitting on something. But we digress, folks. You've come here to get a great recipe. It's the second week of January. You know you've made these resolutions to make this the best year ever. 2014 is going to be the best ever. And you know you're getting rocked and rolled to get ready to get that done, right? <laughs> Gosh. And so what you yeah. need to do is health. You need to look at your health, mm -hmm. all right? And I'm talking to you guys. That's who I'm talking about. You know us guys, we want to eat the pizza, and we want to eat the cheeseburgers, and we want to do all What are you doing? I'm just waiting. I didn't know how long this was going to go. I was getting a well, little What's a five-minute segment? It's going to go five minutes. <laughs> what's your problem? You're just talking a lot. Listen, this in 2004. It's supposed to be a cooking show. It's not a talk show. If you want to go to a talk show, you can go on The View or, you know, do something like this. This is a cooking segment. I've not been invited on The View. Um, I'm invited every week on The Matthew Mitchell Show. And, in <laughs> fact, I'm invited every week into the coach's kitchen. But we're supposed to be cooking. And you well, if you'll let me get to the recipe, yeah. I'm build, it's a build-up, Jenna. We're building up. Listen, we're trying to stay healthy. So, guys, <laughs> you want to eat that pizza and those cheeseburgers. What you need is some lean protein. And I've got a good snack for you. Sometimes we get too hungry, right? And then we overeat, okay? So what we're going to do here is, Jenna, stop it right now. We're going to run out of time. We're not going to run and out of time. You do not talk to me. This that was a, a little too aggressive. Okay, this is a protein <laughs> smoothie. You're uh, Speaking of too aggressive, it's you barking at me on this show. Listen, protein smoothie. Get you some ice. There it is, right there. Now look, what's this? It's a little milk. Non-fat. Non-fat and full of protein right here. Guess how many? Stop it, Jenna, stop. Oh, my gosh. Nine grams of protein right one there. One cup of one right cup. Right there. No, no. One container of, of Greek yogurt. But We've no, talked about our affection for the Greek. For oh, my Greek gosh, people. Matthew. We've done that. And now, listen, here's something that's very important. Berries. Get these berries in there. Where's my mixer here? Look. Get you one of these big bags. Get you a couple berries. Put those in there. All right. What's in berries, folks? That's right, antioxidants. Now we'll just go to your health, health store and just any of them, some protein powder. Put that in there. That's 25 grams. Whoa! Have I put everything in there? Yes. Let me get a little more milk in there. Just, just, just okay. spice it up a little bit. All right, now we're going to put it. So now we're going to blend it. How are we doing on time? Plenty of time. Hey, I got this. I got this going on here. Now let's see. Turn this on. All right. Now watch this, folks. Get ready. Whoa! So now you're just going to blend it in your blender there. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? This is spectacular. Uh, is it? What's happened? What's it? Oh, okay. All right. I thought it had broken there for just a second. Where'd Jenna go? Where'd you go? Don't taste it. Stop. Don't hit me with that thing. No. This is a family show. All right, listen. I got to get my cup ready. Hey, 
Whoa, that's whoa, probably, what's happening here? That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Right? Yeah. So what this does for, for you guys, this gets you some protein injected into the bloodstream, oh all right? And man, is it yummy. Why is this so messy right here, huh? What's the problem? This is a disastrous segment. What's happened here? Usually everything's so nice and neat. Well, normally I'm cooking. That's ugly. Let, let's try this. Where's my straw? Can I get a straw, please? <laughs> I mean, you'd think a guy could get a straw on his own coach's <laughs> kitchen segment. Here we go. Let's try it. it. Tastes great. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Listen, guys, you want to get working out. You want to get you some protein. You want to get in shape for 2014. It's going to be the best year ever. This will get you on your way to good health. And what will we tell the good folks out there? We'll see you next week. To be a good shooter, you have to have proper footwork. Coming up, Coach shows you how to get your feet set for your jump shot. But first for our McDonald's Fast Break of the Week, we go back to the Cats hosting Florida and getting ahead of the Gators. It's Janae Thompson with a sweet dime to Samari Walker. She gets a double-double, 10 points, 12 rebounds, and that's the McDonald's Fast Break of the Week. The University of Kentucky Athletics program has experienced tremendous growth in the past few years. This could not have been accomplished without the support of our official benchmark sponsors. We would like to say thanks to each of the following. Gearhart Communications, Paul Miller Ford, P. Rats, Townhomes at Newtown Crossing, and Window World. Coach's Tip of the Week this week. Welcome in, everybody. It's a time in our show where we help our younger viewers become better players. And speaking of younger viewers, how young are you? 18. Well, it's not exactly old, is it? But it's not exactly young either. So it's Lene Harper from Chicago, Illinois, guard, the freshman who we're enjoying coaching. And back for another week is guard from Indianapolis, Briga, we forgot to introduce you last week. Yeah. Not making the same mistake twice, Bria. Don't let one mistake become two. And I'm 21, by the way. Well, good for you. <laughs> we're real happy about that. This week, we're going to talk about some shooting footwork. You know, we talked about your form and, and, and how important that is. Now let's talk about some shooting footwork. We work really hard on that uh, at Kentucky. And one thing we want to talk to you about is as you are coming from from uh, off the ball to catching the basketball, how do I get into my shot? And so the better your footwork is, the quicker you can get off your shot. The quicker you can get off your shot increases the chance of you being open. All right, on our level, we talk about you don't have a long time to be open. You don't have a long time to just catch the ball and take your time, you need to be able to get right into your shot. And so what we work hard on is inside pivot foot. And what that means is as Bria's approaching and she's trying to catch the basketball, the foot that's closer to the goal is her pivot foot. It's called inside pivot foot. It helps her step into the shot, get square to the goal, and, and make the shot. Lene, the same way, she's coming from the other way. You need to be able to do this off both feet. Now she's inside pivot foot and able to square up and get to her shot. So what that helps you do is to just step right into your shot, get in your legs in the shot and get right there and you don't have to take a lot of time. And you need to be able to do this both ways. So we'll demonstrate this inside. Pivot foot, Bria just steps in and gets into her shot right there. Lene is coming from the other side, steps in right there and that helps them get squared up and shooting the basketball right when they catch it. Being ready on the catch has more to do with your feet than it does your hands. So again, to be a good shooter, you need to know how to involve your legs into your shot, and that's gonna help you be much more consistent and much more accurate. And when you can do that, you're gonna be a better player, you're gonna help your team win. That's the coach's tip of the week. So, Coach, you've got a big matchup on Sunday with Missouri at home. First time they've ever come to Lexington. Yeah, we have a tough game with Missouri. They're playing really well this year. A great three-point shooting team, always a challenge for us. We did a good job with them last year. 
but it was a struggle. So they're a very, very good team. Everybody on the floor can shoot the basketball, make three, so it's a real challenge. So we'll need a big crowd out at Memorial and a, a good effort to get a win there. And that's a game that's on ESPNU as well. So 5 o'clock, if you can't make it out to Memorial Coliseum, make sure that you tune in and watch the Cats. For Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. The Matthew Mitchell Show was brought to you by Commonwealth Credit Union, by UK Healthcare, by Safe Light Auto Glass, by P Rats, by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, by Central Bank, by Kennedy's Wildcat Bin, by McDonald's, by Window World, and by Paul Miller Ford.